Adam Savage here, and I could not be more excited that the Ghostbusters are back. And as you might have guessed, I was back on set with them to embed in the production of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire in theaters March 22nd. In this exclusive video series, Tested takes you behind the scenes of the new film as the Spangler family returns to New York City to join familiar faces and face off against a terrifying new foe. From visits to the prop workshop to tours of the incredible fully realized sets, we will show you that behind the walls of the iconic firehouse aren't specters, but a talented team of set builders, special effects designers, and prop makers, all of them storytellers, working in concert to bring the next Ghostbusters adventure to the big screen. Let's dive in. So, Mark, you had the issue here in this film of lots and lots of ice, and ice not just being ice, but ice breaking like ice. We did, yeah, we did. Um, there's a scene uh, at the very start of the film. Fireman rush into this building, and they open the door. It's all mysterious. Smoke from that door, etc. And then they go in, and there's about 30 people frozen, solid, all just lots of ice in, place. in various positions. And so uh, they wanted to be able to shatter this, this these figures, uh, but very safely because they want the actor to be able to touch the figures, and then they shatter immediately. Well, and that's two totally different things. Shattering is one thing, exactly. but so that it's safe for an actor exactly, is a completely other thing. Exactly, because we couldn't blow them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't want smoke or anything, obviously. We just wanted them literally to fall to pieces. So I've got to give them the job of sorting that out. Um, so this is a little test piece we made. This little hand is uh, it's cast in this wax. It's a, it's a very brittle, but easily broken. Oh, wow. Um, I remember this yeah. stuff. This, this has been around for a long time for yeah, breakaways, yeah? It's been around for a while. So what we did was we cast one of our colleagues' hands. Yeah. This is a little glass jacket and mm -hmm. silicon mold. Uh, and we can cast it in that. So this is just a this is test piece because we're going to be doing full size right. figures. So just for the purpose of the argument, I yeah. uh, put a little bit of color on it and a bit of frosting spray. Right, okay, so you've done it as a, as a sort of slush cast. Absolutely, a slush mold, exactly. Right. And then this is... Oh! The the, oh, I love this stuff. Which is fantastic. So, yeah, it totally. Um, the silicon rubber, but with one missing ingredient, so it doesn't totally um, bond together. Right. They change the. Oh, that's why it changes. One of the missing polymers, yeah. But it's. Um, this is the same stuff they use for uh, Die Hard when Bruce Willis has to run on all Absolutely, the Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. So this is filled with this stuff. Yeah, filled with that, and we'll do that with the entire body of the structure. And. You still have the issue of having to make this shatter in some way that looks like it's shattering but doesn't spray debris on the actor. Yeah, exactly. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I haven't told the director. I was, I was not telling him, um, <laughs> just to pull his name, really. But, uh, but I'm telling you, but you must be secret about it. It's, um, no, it's, it's very simple. I'm just pulling it apart with basically little strings. Um, on the full size figures, we'll probably have to have about 100 cables. Uh, going uh, so to have yeah, stems. so I'm shocked. I'm basically mm -hmm. with that, with it, the little knots, with these yeah. will be much smaller on the real dive, just yeah. for the sake of getting it done quickly for you today. These will be bonded into the surface, but when it, when it goes really fast, it will shock the whole thing in one go. This and is so like, it will completely fall to pieces. Oh, wow. This is like the, uh, uh, like the poltergeist house. Yeah. Right. Like they're pulling it all the all yeah, every exactly. all the parts that down in. That's amazing. Um, the thing about that is because uh, we want it to just collapse. We don't want it to go out. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. An explosion. We want it to just completely fall. Uh, also, they want it to be safe. Right. The actors. Right. 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 One of the actors comes in and he the first thing he does is gently touches one of the figures and then hat arms. Oh. And uh, they want the arm to go first and then the rest of the figure. So to oh. do that. Um, I, this is a little oh, sketch. This is, this is like a little sketch model. This is how you mechanically so, problem yeah, solve? Yeah, you know, I just kind of draw things out and test it. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, if it works in cardboard, it's going to work. <laughs> um, and so if you imagine, you're going to have that behind oh, the figure. And this will be inside your full size figure. In the back of the figure. Right, right. And so what will happen is this will be held up with a, a pneumatic rammer be pushing it up. Right. And um, the strings will go up the arm, and then they'll go down this for the arm, and possibly the head. Gotcha. And, and that'll then, be and one. That, the that first will offset part. the load 
So I don't want to put any stress on the rest of the body. No, no. So that will go. The ram that pulls all the strings will trigger the little ram that pulls that down, and then that will just collapse oh, like that. Amazing. And then that will just, and then that that will be, you know, that eye off the ground will cover yeah. up with ice. You won't see it. Have you been able to do a test with this yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, that's all currently in production. Oh, it sounds well, thrilling and terrifying. Yeah. Well, oh, it's part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> can 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 we see this actually we go? We can see that. Yes, oh. of course we can. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so so you're holding on to the trigger. Yeah. That's going to activate a valve that will activate that cylinder that is going to cause this to look like it's collapsing. I'm exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Now. And so I'm to bring yeah. my finger over, not to put pressure yeah. on it, but just to touch to it. it. All right, you ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Doing it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. What a mess you made. Yeah. Oh, that looks incredible. Dude. So, one is a full size speaker. Open. That'll be spectacular. Oh, wow. How many do you have to do? Um, there's going to be three in each take. Um, depends on how many <gasps> takes. They're going to take a long time. They're going to take a long time to rig up. Yeah. It's about a hundred strings of bigger. So do you? What do you get about a a, a day to reset each well, one? I hope so. <laughs> good luck. That'll be good. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. All right, Andy. This. Tell me about the gag we're just about to see. Basically, this is, this is Phoebe's backpack, yeah. and it's been modified. So the gag is, it's going to spark, and a, and a spark rotating. So we're going to see the, the cyclotron in here spinning, yes. and it's supposed to be breaking down, so it's sending sparks all over the Absolutely, place. Absolutely, yeah. And it's, You've got it. Can we, can, we, can we spin it up and see Absolutely. it? Absolutely. All right. All right. Uh, Mark? We're starting out with the best part. Ready? Yep, let's do it. First of all, it smells amazing. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, can we get into how you make something like this happen? Because it's not just like you've got a sparker in here. That was that was traveling around the perimeter of this thing. Ah, am I correct? This is a this is actually one of Hasbro's proton Absolutely packs. Absolutely, it is. Yes. So these have given you guys some some fun frames to play with. Yeah, it's quick, quick and easy rather than making the stuff. Yes. Yeah, uh... yeah. So you modified it to have one quick release. Yep. All right. Let's move that over. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. Look at all this. All right. So. Walk me through. Walk me through this system. What it takes to get these to spark like this. Okay. So we got the motor here. That's uh, the motor that drives the cyclotron spin. Yes, it is. Okay. It's belt, belt driven. Gotcha. Um, there's a, an abrasive paper on the outside of this drum. Oh, yeah, you've got like a sanding belt. Okay, this is the battery pack for it. Uh huh. And then there's pin cylinders all the way around eight of them. So these are little tiny, little tiny uh, uh, pneumatic cylinders. Absolutely, yes. And then in order to get that spark to travel around, you're pulsing these in sequence? Yes. So yeah, here, this is the sequencer, and that will um, pulse them. This is the sequencer. So, yeah. Oh, so you can yeah, manually so can just, just adjust can, which one yeah, fires so when. Go faster, slower. Or... Oh, and that's your that's your that's air. That's air tank. Yeah. So it's totally self-contained. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's just it's pulsing through this manifold. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. eight. That is so simple. I, it's also I'm like impressed with how much room there is in here. Although it still seems like space was at a premium. Trust me. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and also all the regular color electronics still work, like the blue bar still goes up and down. Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's all DMX controls. I just love how simple how simple it is. You've got sandpaper around a drum. And also, you've actually used a little bit of room on the back for the mechanics because yep. this uh, space here is so tight. Absolutely, yes. Andy, that is thrilling. I just, I, it really feels like you're holding on to something that's, manu that's malfunctioning. <laughs> Uh, but this is only one half of this gag, is that right? Yes. Okay, let's pack this up and talk about the other half. I love it, it's a Hazlitt. It's amazing. All right, Andy. So this is the other half of the spark gag. It's more sparks, 
Absolutely. But a different method, is that right? Yes, absolutely. All right, so, I mean, my first thought about, th this is Phoebe's uh, wand, and yes. sparks have to shoot out shoot out of this. Yes. Now, did you did you think about using a motor, the same sort of system for shooting sparks? Yes, but I I, I couldn't see that ever working. No, so because uh, you had to, they had to throw too far. Yeah, yeah, and it's just also the wrong type of spark. Right, you, know, you can't. Oh, you a can't. flint spark. They want a yeah. very specific color. Yeah. Uh, yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, on this one, they're going to want a red spark. Okay. Uh, it's not going to run red today. Right. But <laughs> okay. So, and all of this here supports this tell, tell me how what's going to happen here when when the trigger gets pulled okay so there's there's a fan in there a, a, a ducted fan right uh there's an ignition system uh running on propane okay oh so you actually yeah. are feeding the gas from here in here yes okay yeah there's a tiny tiny solenoid in there amazing um you've got air which will um uh, activate a, a little um, a venturi. Yeah. That's going to suck from this hopper underneath here. This is a hopper. And the hopper is um, full of... Yeah, that's the filler. So oh, no. Fill, fill, fill. What? Up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see that. Do, do you actually fill... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, full of the powder that's going <laughs> to... Got it. Yeah. So eventually it, it will run on iron, iron filings, right. which will give a red spark. At the moment I've only got uh, a titanium zirconium mix. So it'll be a much more white spark. Yes, absolutely. So this allows you also to reload this on set without having to take the whole thing apart. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so when the trigger gets pulled, it activates an igniter and the propane and air so that it is both igniting the powder and shooting it out at the same and time. There's, and there's a ducted fan as well. And the ducted fan, wow. And the ducted fan is just Deep powerful yes. enough I'm to very, blow. Very powerful, yes. Amazing. And that keeps it keeps it cool. Okay, and you, were... you have actually got a flame in here, but it will Oh, and the ducted fan actually keeps her from, oh my gosh. So this is all a welded uh, aluminum, as yep. you would say, uh, housing. And tell me about this guy. Uh, this uh, is to try and get the sparks to come sideways. Ah. Uh, this, 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 will, this will fit in the end. Um, and it's just a way for dispersing the yeah, sparks yeah, laterally rather than straight out. Yeah. We can fire this up. Yeah, so oh. hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, wow, that's crazy. What and so all of it's happening at once so that once it's not going, there's no more propane coming into here. Absolutely, yeah. So it's a really safe yeah. unit. Wow. I want to look down the barrel, hold on just a second. Oh, wow, I see the ducted fan. That is super cool. I've never seen, did you build that ducted fan? I'll show you it. Please. Wow. Unbelievable. Powerful. Really? Yeah. And this runs off just, I mean, of four, course it four, runs off. 4.2 four, four volts. 4.2 volts and yeah, super and it's powerful. absolutely amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I cannot believe that. It does draw four amps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that checks out. That makes sense. So, right. Uh, and because the wand is tethered, it's no problem for you to get all this out to the out to where you need it. That's right, yeah. Originally, it, it was all as one unit. But, right. Uh, there's gags, which they, they need the other wand for, so. Yeah. Amazing. Can we Can we see it one more time? That is amazing. I can't believe how quickly and easily it is to make it to make it work. Andy, that is great. And so stone cold. Yeah, no, it's really it's totally safe to hold. So you are gonna you're gonna put iron filings in, and that'll make those sparks less white. They'll make them red. Yes. Dude, what a beautiful rig. It's gonna look really stunning. This looks like it was fun. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. it's it's different. I've never been able to. Uh, do this method before, or yeah. not in this scale anyway. Is this, uh, so I just love that it's coming out of a hopper here and being blown out there. That's Sucked really out, neat. Yeah. yeah. So cool.